It has been seven days since the first death from coronavirus, and tonight that number is rising. Good evening, I'm Kristen Ayers. We begin with the facts that we know. 16 people have died, 87 others have tested positive. Many of those deaths are based in King and Snohomish counties, but tonight we can confirm Clark, Kittitas, Pierce, Jefferson, and Grant counties have all reported at least one positive case. Some major area universities and school districts have begun on online classes, including Seattle Pacific University and the University of Washington. More than a dozen of those deaths happened at the Life Care Center in Kirkland, considered the ground zero of the outbreak in our state. King 5 Sebastian Robertson is at the facility now where federal medical professionals are set to arrive any minute now. Sebastian. A spokesperson for the facility says they're still very much in triage mode, trying to care for the patients that are here without making this situation any worse. And today, that same spokesperson gave us new numbers that really show the scope of this problem. We don't know why this patient was loaded into an ambulance outside Life Care Center in Kirkland Saturday morning. We do know that the patients and the medical staff are at the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in the U.S. Everything we've learned so far is that we know very little about how fast this may act. Over the weekend, the care facility releasing its own numbers, documenting the toll that the virus has taken on them. Since February 19, 13 patients have tested positive for and died of the coronavirus. No one in the staff has died. But of the 180 employees, 70 aren't working and are showing symptoms. I really think this is something that's falling through the cracks. Sherry Chandler fears the impact is even greater, especially when you consider the number of visitors that come to a facility like this on any given day. Visitors like her elderly parents. No, nobody has even reached out to my parents. There are many visitors to the center that have not been contacted. This is a, something that's falling through the cracks. The true toll may take some time to come by, especially when you consider that this facility, by its own count, has only received 45 test kits and just received them Thursday. We need more test kits. We still don't have enough test kits for all the residents who are here. We've been told that more will be coming. Saturday, Life Care Center did get some relief. A number of doctors and nurse practitioners arrived to treat the 63 patients that remain. A fight against a virus that is far from over. The facility believes that there are six people inside currently showing symptoms for the coronavirus. Those patients are receiving regularly me uh, regular medical treatment and being monitored should their symptoms turn acute. Well, then they'll be transferred to a hospital in Kirkland. Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News. Okay, thank you for that, Sebastian. Uh, tell, tell us what about the staff that's been working? Well, uh, we, we're wondering whether they've been quarantined. Yeah, the staff members that are in here are working long days and uh, working several days in a row, but they're not under any type of restriction. They can go home and the staff here says that they're really being vigilant about their uh, personal protective equipment, doing a good job taking it off. Uh, putting it on, sanitizing, all steps to ensure that the situation doesn't get worse. Back to you. Thank you, Sebastian. We hope that's enough to keep people safe. A judge has denied the city of Kent's request to block King County from using a vacant motel as a quarantine facility. The Seattle Times reports that ruling clears the way for 10 potentially infected firefighters to move into the old Econo Lodge on Central Avenue. The firefighters had responded to the Life Care Center. The mayor of Kent said the county gave them little notice. I need to be able to look my citizens in the eye and say to them, we're doing everything we can to make sure that you're safe. And I have not been able to get satisfactory answers to those questions to be able to do that. Another court hearing will be set before Wednesday to review the matter. Due to concerns about the coronavirus, the Issaquah Food and Clothing Bank will be closed this coming week. People won't be able to donate or shop from Monday, March 9th to Friday, March 14th. The food bank says it's taking preemptive measures to reduce the risk of exposure to that virus. Some of the patients infected have been taken to Evergreen Health in Kirkland, and several have died there. Today, the hospital held a tour for a U.S. lawmaker and gave an update on what the hospital is doing. King 5's Amy Moreno live there tonight. Amy? 
Well, there is money coming from the federal government to support public health agencies and the work here at Evergreen Health. And a lawmaker, Susan Delbeni, felt like she needed to come here to talk to them face to face and to see on the front lines what they're doing to fight the virus. Well, it's important to hear from our medical professionals what they need. Congresswoman Susan Del Bene spent time at Evergreen Health in Kirkland, where several patients from the Life Care Center have been transferred as they fight the virus. Del Bene's visit comes just one day after Congress approved more funding to fight the virus, and President Trump called Governor Jay Inslee a snake, raising new concerns about how well the state and federal government are working together to respond. I want to say those comments were appalling. I was with the governor um, and the vice president when they, and the, at the gathering we had on Thursday. I was with the governor again yesterday, and I know his top priority is the health and safety of the people of Washington state, and the president could learn a lot by following the governor's lead. Evergreen posted information on its website calling the virus endemic, which means it's now regularly found in our region and amongst our population. The language caused some concern and was taken down from the site. Doctors said the term is designated by public health and the CDC. I really defer to, to our experts on, on all those definitions on, on what we call endemic. But what we know is with community spread, Evergreen Health is ready to take care of that, that community that, uh, that presents, presents itself here. The hospital said it's focused on taking care of those patients and supporting the staff who continue to show up for work during this very stressful time. Uh, humbling. Humbling to watch these, uh, these staff members come to work every day, as they did before all this, to take the best care of their patients and continue to do so and not shy away from it. Talk that because the virus is so widespread that potentially people, uh, the hospital might no longer be checking people for the virus, but Evergreen Health assures me that they are continuing to test people for COVID-19 using the guidelines under the CDC. We're live in Kirkland. Amy Marino, King 5 News. Thanks, Amy. Federal courts in Tacoma and Seattle have postponed jury and grand jury trials due to the outbreak. U.S. District Judge Ricardo Martinez said in a statement the courts would review the situation on March 31st. All jurors have been notified. Our exclusive King 5 News poll shows how people are reacting to the coronavirus cri crisis. When asked how concerned they are, 29% said extremely, but many more picked somewhat. Only 5% said not at all. We also asked what people thought about the response from state health officials. A majority, 54%, believe it's appropriate. Overreaction and inadequate had about the same number at 18 and 19% respectively. Survey USA conducted the statewide poll this week. For a link to our coverage of the coronavirus outbreak, you can text the word virus to 206-448-4545.